Alright, time for another generation of trolling. Up next on the list, Johto. Ah, Johto. Or as I like to call it, Diet Kanto. At least the theme song is good. It's a whole new world we live in. It's a whole new way to see. It's a whole new place with a brand new attitude. Even though most of the Pokemon are still related to Gen 1. Pokemon Johto. Pokemon Johto! Of course, we're starting with the most ignored grass starter. Oh, poor Chikawida. You're sounding a bit stuffy. Are you allergic to your own pollen? If I'm not in new Pokemon Snap while this Snorfest is, we're going to have some problems, Bandai Namco. Okay, this being a mouse, fine, I get it. This being a mouse, weird, but okay. But this? How is this a mouse? Let me guess, you weren't cool enough to join the Galar Zigzagoon gang. So I heard you guys were sick of all the Charizard pandering. Count yourself lucky. If this Pokemon stayed as popular as it did when Gen 2 came out, we could have had countless forms of this. And honestly, that sounds way more boring. Your Donald Duck impression needs some work. Did the Zigzagoon gang reject you too? Well, at least you and Quilava have each other. Damn, boy, he thick! When Sentrit sleeps, it does so while another stands on guard. The sentry wakes the others at the first sign of danger. When this Pokemon becomes separated from its pack, it becomes incapable of sleep due to fear. So remember, kids, if you catch a Sentrant, you'll give it insomnia. Better evolve it fast before it dies from exhaustion. Ah, the less cool Linoon. Girl, you have to tell me what mascara you use. We can always count on Game Freak to make the most underwhelming bird Pokémon. These so-called five-star Pokémon are more like a two out of five. And that's being generous. Speaking of categories, what do you think this Pokémon is categorized as? I'll give you some time to guess. Time's up! Did you guess String Spit Pokémon? No, you didn't. Don't lie. And here we have what the Dex calls the Long Leg Pokemon. Funny, I can think of plenty of Pokemon with much longer legs. Ah, the first of the Gen 1 leftovers. To be honest, this one's pretty cool. It's a shame your previous forms are so lame. We should make a Pokemon based on this really cool and scary deep sea fish. Any ideas? Yeah, let's make it not scary and completely pointless. You. You're responsible for this franchise's Pika clone fate. Let that weigh on your tiny little Pika shoulders. Oh, speaking of which... Pokemon babies, we make a freak dreams come true. Pokemon babies, we'll do nothing for you. Okay, okay, so remember how Magmar's Japanese name is Boober? <laughs> Check this out! Booby! Hey kid, you want some joy dust? So glad Game Freak gave us existential dread in Pokemon form. It's just what we all needed. Honestly, this is one of the few Johto designs that's actually clever, and it's naked. Why? Hey, kids! Remember how in the first gen we introduced these evolution stones that you had to scour the region to find in order to complete your Pokedex? Well, guess what? We added more! Good luck, suckers! Hey, look! It's... Pika Blue. Merely six words strike fear into professional trainers when they see this Pokemon. Huge power, belly drum, aqua jet. Ah! Did it seriously take Game Freak a whole generation to realize their tadpole Pokemon needed a frog-shaped evolution? Kudos to the devs for making the world's most punchable Pokemon line. This guy's probably a beast at rock, paper, scissors. That's about it, though. 
Behold! The most useless Pokémon in existence! Even your evolution doesn't make up for it. I'm starting to think Johto was Game Freak's dumping ground for unfinished Pokémon line concepts. Most of the Pokédex entries on this guy talks about how it coats itself in a poisonous film when it leaves the water. So, what do you think its typing is? That's right! Water! Ground! Imagine having your name be ruined by a stupid adult cartoon. And I thought Flareon was a boring evolution. At least Umbreon has the guts to be edgy. Like you said in the second movie, you could use pants. Hey completionists! Ready to catch the same Pokémon 28 times? Female Wobbuffet and Hoot Hoot should totally collab on their beauty channels! Imagine the views! This, my loyal viewers, is what we call a gimmick Pokémon. A Pokémon made specifically because people thought it would be funny. And that's it. Other gimmick Pokémon include... Dunsparce! Well, at least Giraffe Reg isn't as stupid in comparison. Running out of ideas already? Okay, the mouse thing from before... whatever. But how is this a bagworm? Eh, a bit more exciting. But come on, Crystal Onyx! Look out, Clefairy and Clefable! We've got some new fairy Pokémon in town. I guess... I'ma be real, I forgot this Pokémon even existed. As if Scyther wasn't edgy enough. Damn, son, what's all this defense for? What are you trying to protect? Some stinky rotten berry juice? It's not worth it. If you thought female Wobbuffet was stupid, then take a look at this. What a perfectly fine Pokémon design that will most certainly be ruined in a later generation. Someone should remind Teddy Ursa that sucking your thumb too much will give them buck teeth when they grow up. Uh-oh. Better call Umbreon. I think someone's trying to steal their look. You look less like magma and more like snot. Four times weak to water, huh? <laughs> You're going to be very upset in the next generation. How does it feel knowing you're going to have to wait two generations and two evolutions to finally be able to open your eyes? People didn't care about you until Game Freak killed off your entire species in the Galar region. That's so sad. And quite the heavy-handed metaphor. Two more casualties of the Beta Design Massacre. Game Freak saw those Christmas dollar signs and knew what they had to do. It's too bad their ideas were half-baked and people would rather buy a Pikachu plush with a Santa hat. This Pokémon looked like they took some of Togetic's joy dust. Someone went a little bit overboard when they found out they were adding Steel-type to this generation. The Growlithe and Arcanine for people who unironically listen to Linkin Park. So this is a dragon, but these are not? Oh, Pokémon. Keep rolling, 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 what? All right, I'll make the obvious joke. Porygon 2! <laughs> Being an artist must be one hell of a... struggle. <laughs> ah yes, the three most popular kung fu stars. Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, and Beyblade. You want to see me scare the older fans out of their minds? <clears throat> Roll out. Imagine being outclassed by your previous evolution holding a rock. Let's see, and take out their own movie. Suicune got a supporting role, and Raikou got... Oh, nothing. Hey, wait a second, why are you three between all the legendaries in the decks? Get out of here, posers. Go, shoot, go on. The nerve of some Pokémon. As far as legendary designs go, this one is definitely the most underwhelming. Aha! We found the culprit that gave Ash eternal youth! This Pokémon is responsible for all those limited edition Pokémon events everyone loves so much. Another generation down! What's next on the list? Oh, Jesus Christ!